Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mathematics channel with really interesting questions every day and today we have a really interesting challenge, it looks like a pretty easy problem but many of you are going to get this wrong and you'll probably be a little bit shocked but don't panic, I'm going to fully explain you why you're probably going to get this wrong and how to avoid this particular mistake. So here's our question 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 and times 0. So on the first side this is pretty easy question so everyone learns this stuff in the third grade, everyone know about this addition, about multiple application so it looks like everyone can cancel this question so right now pause the video try to solve it by yourself what do you think is a correct answer it is a very tricky question but i hope you will solve this correctly and we don't want to use our calculator so this is really great really great challenge so let's start to solve it so we have one we have one plus one plus one plus 1 and times 0. From school you know that if we have like it uh, doesn't matter what number on the left hand side if we multiply it by 0 we will have 0. For example right here we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 equal to 4 and times 0 so it looks like our correct answer is is 0. Doesn't matter what number you have on the left hand side for example 20 if you multiply this 20 by 0 we will have 0. So we have this option A and a lot of students do this mistake they say that the correct answer and the correct answer is 0 because we have doesn't matter what number we have, what value we have on the left hand side, if you multiply it by zero, we will have the zero. So in maths we should know about order of operation, because we just solve this problem wherever we want, we just want to do this, and we, we add it first, then we multiply, but in maths we should know what is the correct order to do this problem. And for this question, for example, let's look at this PMDMC order of operation, this is the most popular order of operation in the world, all internet libraries, scientific, graphing calculator works according to PMDMC, and let's solve this question according to this order of Operation. Not like that chaotically, but according to PMDMC, according to this step. So right here we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 and times 0. So the first step according to PMDMC is parentheses. Now we need to scan where do we have these parentheses in our case. We don't have any parentheses, as you can see, we don't have any brackets, we don't have any parentheses, so we just skip this part with parentheses. What about exponents? What about exponents? For me personally, I don't see any exponents right here, so we just skip this part, we don't have any squares, cubes, so it's really good, so we just skip this part with exponents. Let's go to the next step. The next step is multiplication and division group. Multiplication and division have the same priority, so we should find multiplication and division sign. Let's look at it. Let's look at our question. Where do we have this multiplication and division sign? Right here we have addition, right here addition, addition, and right here we have multiplication. But with really interesting moment, right here we should apply this multiplication only to these two numbers, only to 1 and to 0. Not as right here we just add at first, which is absolutely wrong. We can't solve this question like that, but like that we should apply only this multiplication only to these two numbers 1 and 0 so we have multiplication we don't have division we have multiplication and I want to say that right here we have addition and subtraction group this is our last group so right here we should multiply it first we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 and plus 1 times 0 equal to equal to 0 so as you can see after this multiplication step we have this addition and subtraction part and addition is all the time after multiplication so we have this addition and all the time addition is after multiplication we don't have subtraction we have addition so addition is all the time after multiplication so as here is the rule we should multiply at first then we should add or division at first then addition so multiplication and division group is before addition and subtraction so we should do all the thing with multiplication and division sign and then we should add and subtract. So multiplication at first only this expression 1 times 0 and right now 1 plus 1 plus 1 equal to equal to 3. So this is a correct answer according to PMDMC but as you can see right here we solved this question and the correct answer was 0. This is absolutely bad solution, this is absolutely wrong solution. This solution will be correct when we write the brackets, then we should start from these parentheses and then a correct answer is is zero. But in our case we don't have any parentheses, we have like a regular expression, so multiplication first, then addition. So a correct answer is option, option B is a correct answer. Right here with parentheses correct answer will be zero because zero, because a parentheses at first and addition at first, because this addition is inside these parentheses, is in these brackets, so we should start from this addition. In our case we don't have any parentheses, so we just add at, uh, multiply at first and then add 
all these values. So we have our answer option, option B. So our correct answer is option B. I hope your answer is the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. If you need help with any of these classes, you can just go through my YouTube channel. I have a ton of videos. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.